Anything interesting? Obviously, other than the uh, PlayStation 2 gauntlet stuff that I've been playing, I've... Uh... Hello! Hello and welcome everyone, welcome. How is everyone doing tonight? I am feeling marginally better than the uh <laughs> than than last night. It's it's <laughs> like oh fuck. <laughs> uh I can tell that I'm getting better. But holy fuck, dude. <laughs> it's not good though. Uh so like yeah, that's that's a thing. But it's okay. We're on we're on the road to recovery, so like <laughs> that's that's what matters, right? Uh, <clears throat> you just found out that you can't play Dragon Age on your computer because you have a shit graphics card? That sucks, man. At least, uh, like, graphics cards are pretty easy to to upgrade. Um, well, <laughs> if you can get a hold of one. Apparently, it's getting easier to find them, to buy, to purchase. But, yeah, if you're able to find one, at least it's not too hard to, to put in there. Assuming the uh, power supply can handle it and you have an open PCIe slot at least. Since joining Aang on his journey as the Avatar and have fought many battles, we have met many people, some friends and some enemies. Under my tutelage, Aang has learned to waterbend. And although he lacks discipline, his skill is already great. But before he is ready to face the Fire Lord, Aang must master the remaining elements of Earth, then Fire. And so, we find ourselves once again flying toward the Great Earth Kingdom, in the hope that Aang can find a master earthbender to teach him. Dope. Uh, he can barely taste pizza. Yeah, I was able to taste the pizza a tiny bit, <clears throat> so that was pretty cool. But directly after eating the pizza, um, I ate a salad with, with vinegar because we were out of dressing, and I could not taste that at all <laughs> like i got a tiny bit of bitter from the from the salad you know the leaves but like that was it i couldn't taste the sour i couldn't couldn't like taste any anything though so like <clears throat> it, it comes and goes but the fact that i tasted anything is is pretty cool man <laughs> like i'll take that please tell me we get to meet off in this one i'm guessing we do since you know it's the earth kingdom saga <laughs> Also, of note, since I had a save from the uh, from the first Avatar game, I uh, unlocked like Appa's Adventures or something like that. Appa's Adventures, whatever the fuck. So that's pretty cool. I'm glad that winter's over. Appa won't get so many colds. There must be someone. Like it looks, the the models look clean. Don't get me wrong. But it just seems a little weird having them all be, like, in 3D, man. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if that's just, just me. But, like, yeah. I don't know, man. I kind of feel like they should actually be, like, 2D, you know? But I guess maybe that would have been hard to do at the time or something like that. Uh, press start button to access your journal. Okay. The Earth Kingdom Fortress. Uh, survive the attacks of General Fong, who seems intent on attacking you. Uh, okay, we can move the left analog stick. That's cool. Square attacks. Big surprise. I kind of figured that would work that way. What do the other buttons do? So circle, like, shoots an air blast. Triangle doesn't seem to do anything. I'm assuming there's some way to, like, switch bending Gerald styles. Fong, leader of this Earth Nation base. We've been expecting you, Avatar Aang. This is not a very warm reception. It is not without reason. Guard, increase your numbers. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how well the voice acting is coming through. I turned the game up a bit. Um, so hopefully you guys are able to hear it better. But like, yeah, it seems a little uh, lame. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that seems like a good way to put it, man. <laughs> it, it seems pretty lame. Oh, dude. Okay. So L1 switches between characters it also seems like they were able to do some sort of combo thing um she can also do sub-zero ice on the ground <laughs> so that's pretty dope man i like that um also holding circle seems to charge up the attack i don't know 
Oh, okay. So like when I charged it up, it made it larger. R2 does special attacks. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's uh, go back to Aang. So what happens when we charge up your air attack? I mean, it looked it looked basically the same. I mean, maybe it's a tiny bit larger, but it doesn't seem like like much of a difference. Super ranged. Okay, so it, I'm assuming it also gives us more range then. Uh. You are so powerful. Why don't you use the Ow. <laughs> it's been like a year or two since I've watched Avatar, so like, I admit that I don't remember the chapter two here, book two, all that well. Um. Is this is this like following the story of the game, or is this like its own thing that it's got going on right now? You just remember the Toph parts? Oh, okay. We just have to survive. Why? <laughs> Why won't it let me turn the camera? Like the camera right now is locked, which I don't mind locked perspective like cameras perspective games but it has the attacks that we need to jump away from or over or whatever coming from the top left side of the screen but it's giving us like a side view so we can't even see like down the path man to jump over them that was kind of dumb like you could see it but like you could see it a lot easier if i could just turn the camera <laughs> oh well i guess you know this was a battle in the show i remember like the uh crazy dude that he was friends with when he was a kid i remember him like meeting up with him and then i remember him meeting up with Toph at some point i thought as much i remember them racing down the things king boomy that's it what's your uh what's your skyrim question Ru? As much Skyrim as I've played, I've never finished the game, so I don't know for sure if I can really, like, uh, answer your question, but I can try. I like, uh, so far I like Katara better, man. Her, her whole Sub-Zero thing that she's got going on. I jumped out of the way of that, okay? That should not have hit me. Can I just, like, range attack him to death? It doesn't seem to be using any sort of, like, any sort of, uh, like, uh, mana gauge or anything like that, as far as I can tell. Although, with that said, we are almost dead, so I should probably try and, you know, be a little more careful. I don't have what I need to do that. Yeah, about that. <laughs> uh, Aang, you probably shouldn't die here, man. <laughs> uh. Do you guys ever actually complete Namir's quest to be a cannibal? Because bleh. <laughs> I, uh, not that I remember. Man, honestly, I don't remember ever finishing it. Personally. You don't think you've done that one, surprisingly? Yeah, I mean, Namira sounds very familiar. So I'm sure I've come across that quest line at some point, but I don't remember finishing it. No. Like, I'm trying to remember, and I don't remember ever, ever completing that one. The only part of S Skyrim that I finished, finished, was, uh, the, the last DLC that they put out. I forget the name of it, but the one where, uh, once you complete it, you, you unlock the ability to ride a dragon. I finished that one, but that's, that's the only part of Skyrim that I've actually, like, finished with. Dawn Guard, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you go over to the uh, to the island from Morwen, or one of the uh, islands from Morwen. The rest of the game, I just spent way too much time, you know, fucking around doing other random stuff. <laughs> and uh, yeah, wait, you didn't know that? Yeah, no. If you if you complete the uh, if you complete that DLC, you can you can ride dragons, man. Yeah, I. It's a. Uh, <laughs> dragon wait what no honey that dragon weren't even then i don't remember being able to ride a dragon you can definitely ride a dragon if you finish it 
Yeah, no, Dongard was the uh Dongard was the one with the the like hunting of the vampires and werewolves and stuff, wasn't it? Something to do with the those along those lines. So it was Dragonborn was the name of the DLC? I don't remember. Like I said, I just don't remember uh I just remember that like you go to the island from Morrowind and uh there's the whole quest line that you have to do and once you finish it all, you unlock the ability to ride a dragon. Uh, avatar state. Katara is in trouble. Either player, press the action button shown to unleash Aang's avatar state. Okay. So, just any button? Oh, okay. We have to... It's like a scripted sequence thing. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, we don't fuck that up. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm I'm positive that you unlock the ability to ride a dragon at the end of it because I ended up riding dragons all over the uh, the island <clears throat> at the end of that DLC. So yeah, you might wanna you might wanna look into that, man, because <laughs> that's definitely something you can do, and it's pretty cool. I right, try this again. Maybe maybe don't fuck up the button pr presses this time, like a uh, like a dumbass. Ah, uh, get fucked. <laughs> You're asking Nate for a fact check here? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Sky Skyrim ride a dragon. Perfect. Now, if we could just oh. Outer Scrolls ride? Wiki, dragon riding. Control A, Control C, to Omashu? Control V. Actually, there you go, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can ride a dragon, man, at will. Like, you can ride dragons. It's fucking cool. <laughs> Chapter one boss battle now unlocks. Oh, wait a second. Can you, like, go back and just fight the bosses again? Why would you want to? So far, the first uh, game that we played was much better. The first Avatar game that we played was much better than uh, this one here. What the fuck? How did I not know this? Are you sure you ever finished that DLC? Because uh, I'm pretty sure you have to ride a dragon to finish that DLC. Maybe they don't force you to, but they definitely tell you to. Like, <laughs> like they definitely tell you, hey, ride this dragon to the other side of this island and fuck some people shit up. That's one of the, uh, that's part of the, the final class line. Or quest line. <laughs> And again, that's the only storyline in, in Skyrim. Like, I didn't beat any of the DLCs. I didn't beat the game except for Dragonborn. That's the only one that I finished. So I know for sure that you can from that one, man. Hold the fuck up. We just blew your mind. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Omashu again. We're almost there. Friends, I present to you the Earth Kingdom city of Oh no. Oh fuck. This you thought it was Earth Kingdom. Fight. We can't risk being captured. We have to move on. There must be someone else. Firebenders took over that bitch. Earthbending, Aang. This isn't about finding a teacher anymore. My friend needs my help. Besides, I know a secret way into the city. Yip yip! At least the main character's voice acting is good. It sounds like they probably used the, the real voice actors. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it looks like you have chicken pox. <laughs> Don't you mean pentapox? Okay, I have to find someone to hide Appa. Nerds. I'll catch up with you two inside the city. Be careful. Saga's facial expressions are great too. This is to true. This is true. Oh, dope. Okay, so we got we got control of Sokka now. So I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, he actually he he basically plays the same as everyone else. <laughs> I thought I thought maybe he would play a little bit differently since you know he's not a bender, but uh, I guess not. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you, boo. Okay, so you know what this game is reminding me of so far. And this isn't, this is, this is kind of sad to say, 
right now it's kind of reminding me of Nicktoons Unite, right? Where all of the characters play essentially the same. Like, the storyline and graphics and whatnot look okay, but the gameplay itself is kind of falling flat so far. Um, so, like, hopefully it ends up getting better. Which sucks, because I actually end up, I actually ended up really kind of liking the, the first Avatar game. Like, it was pretty good. It was nothing, like, amazing. It didn't blow my mind, but it was good. I had fun with it, you know? I want to go back and finish that one at some point. Now, with that said, we've only played, you know, 20 minutes of this game. So, like, it, things could definitely change. It may end up getting better in the next hour or whatever, but <clears throat> so far, it's kind of, eh... Are we going to play the new Nicktoons game that I bought on stream? We can one of these days if you want, love. I don't care. I got uh, the, the Super Smash Brothers Nicktoons game. I forget the <laughs> the name of it. Nick 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 Nickelodeon Fight Club. I don't <laughs> I, I don't fucking remember. I have I have it sitting right here. Hold on. Let me just fucking move my old mic stand real quick. I have on top this stack of discs. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. That's the name of it. I picked up that game and uh, told, no told Noodle that we should we should try it one of these days because it's a it's a Nicktoons game that I think will actually be, pre be pretty fun. And uh, from like the reviews that I've seen on it and people talking about it and whatnot, it, it seems like it's actually pretty decent. So, like, yeah. I'm kind of excited for that one. Is it a PS2 or PS5? I have it for PS4. I don't know if there's a PS5 version. I'm pretty sure there's also a PC version. I'm pretty sure, though. I, uh, though I could be wrong. Like, I'm sure it's on, like, Xbox and all that BS2. BS2, to be clear. Not PS2. <laughs> Definitely not on the PS2. But it's basically just uh, Smash Brothers with uh, Nickelodeon's characters. Nickelodeon characters. We'll need both of us to Guys, did you know you can press L1 to swap characters? Oh, well that was okay. It just solved itself for us. I'll take the lead from here. Uh, I'm assuming Sokka's able to push heavy things. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Oh. You just press triangle once and he just pushes, okay? <laughs> I thought it was going to be like Legend of Zelda, you know, where where like you you hold a button and you actually push it around? No, it just kind of it just kind of does it for you. Okay. Uh, now what? Are you ready? Hello, game. Oh, we probably have to. Okay, yeah, push this back over there so that we can uh, use it to jump up. Got it. Yep, that makes sense. Look at us, guys. We're we're solving super simple puzzles. I'm so happy for us. <laughs> um, hi. Weird cat statue thing. Oh, good. More sewer rats. My favorite. <laughs> oh, man. I remember in Avatar when they fought sewer rats. That was my favorite episode. So glad we get to do some of that in this game. <laughs> Ugh. Um, oh, we're just gonna keep jumping over. Okay. Oh, there's water dripping out. You better be careful. You don't want to get water on ya. Now, I'm assuming that would, like, knock us down or something like that. Holy fuck, my lozenge is burning my throat. I should have got some, like, throat lozenges or something like that. Um, he has pentapox, sir. It's highly contagious. So awful, I'm dying. Ugh. And deadly. I think I've heard of Pentapox. Didn't your cousin Chang die of it? We better go wash our hands. And burn our clothes. Wow. Being attacked by sewer dwelling face suckers was actually helpful. Here's a link to that uh Nickelodeon game. That's the Steam version. But there are like uh like I said, there are console versions available as well. <laughs> obviously since you know i oh, have it on <laughs> ps4 why why did you need both of us to do that once i pulled the lever it stayed down so couldn't i have just pulled one lever walked over and pulled the other <coughs> god my fucking throat oh no <laughs> more sewer rats guys 
They just keep coming. Can you like fall off the edge or something? So I don't have to sit here and, and beat you for 20 minutes? I just, I don't get like what happened, you know? Because like, the, the first game was actually pretty decent from what I remember of it. Why did they have to go and switch up the formula so much? That seems to be something that Nickelodeon was a really big fan of on the PS2 games or PS2 like console cycle or whatever. Because I also remember the uh, the TAC games. All three TAC games play entirely differently. Like none of them are, are the same. Which I mean, obviously you don't want all three of your games to be exactly the same. But like, man, did you ever think maybe one of them was, was popular for a reason, you know? Like maybe people liked the first Avatar game because it played the way it played? I'm just saying it's a possibility, that's all. Same with the, the tag games and whatnot. Although, to be fair, I don't know if anybody actually liked the first Avatar game. <laughs> like, I don't think it, like, broke any sales records or anything like that. But, hey, I liked it at least. More simple platforming. We got this. Alright, I gotta take a drink real quick. My throat's burning. Let's see if we can find those voices. You're not actually gonna listen to this guy. He's nuts. Cuckoo. No offense, crazy guy. <laughs> Dito doesn't mind. <laughs> saw it ourselves. It's covered with it. Pentapod? I've heard of that. This is serious. Soldier, return to the city and inform the governor immediately. Yes, sir. You, stay here alone and guard this area while I, uh, patrol somewhere far away from here. Make sure no one gets out of the sewers. Uh, yes, sir. I'll just stay here alone with the Pentapod nearby. They sound like real voices to me. Looks like Crazy Guy might not be so crazy after all. We should go back and tell Guido we found the voices. My bad. <laughs> my mic was broken. I've been talking this whole time. After I took my drink, I don't remember turning off my mic, but I must have. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was saying all kinds of things, man. I was saying that uh, I think I may have this thing I can't remember the name of that 
makes it hard to swallow sometimes, right? Um, Because, like, I do struggle to swallow food sometimes. And then not only that, but sometimes when I do swallow food, it goes, like, up into my nasal passage instead of down my throat. How did you get into our secret resistance? So, uh, like, I wonder if I have that. Oh, and then, uh, what made me think of that was my throat is burning. So I was like, it may be from, like, the vinegar in my salad. Uh, so, like, there's that. That's called a tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What? Oh, God. How are we going to get them all out? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to swallow my tongue, if that's what you're talking about, man. I don't know. Pentapox? The marks from a pentapus make you look diseased. If the Fire Nation thought there was a plague amongst the citizens, they would send my you throat, all dude. out of the city without a fight. Don't literally fuck my throat, like... It's a good plan. I'd prefer if no one did that, but, lots of you know. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling right now, though. I should be easy. They live under sewer but yeah, I don't remember the name of it, but it's something. Harder. The only supplies available and things like uh, nicotine use and things like that can make it worse. And I do down nicotine lozenges like they're fucking candy. So, you know, <laughs> like, I'm sure that doesn't fucking help. We'll get the Pentapian supplies and meet you back here. And then what else was I saying? Oh, I was talking about that portrait. I was saying uh, I, I saw that, but I didn't know if that portrait was broken or if it was just like, you know, shitty game shitty. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sure which one. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, it did look like one of the cutscenes may have froze up a little bit, too. So maybe my, uh, maybe, uh, my, my disc needs a good clean or something like that. I don't know. I'm sure it was broke, but that's a fair point. <laughs> Dude, getting all the health upgrades. No, I'm assuming it works like God of War, where you need to fill up that little bar that appeared in order to actually get the health, health upgrade. Bend air, you got it, man. There's your. I bent some air. There you go. See that? I, I, I don't actually bitch smack you. I just bend the air in an arc in front of you. <laughs> Doing all the air bending, and then if you switch to the other character, she has the same attack. But that's not that's not air. That's just a swish. Okay, he actually he actually uh, smacks you whenever you do that attack. And look at that, he can also do a ranged attack. Uh, a ranged attack that's almost exactly the same as <laughs> the other one. Because so far, every character plays the same. That's a little unfair. Katara Katara was able to uh, do the Sub-Zero freeze the ground, freeze people thing. Like, she was able to put ice on the ground that also happened to freeze people. So, like, there's that. She played differently in that way. But so far, that's it, man. So this... That... How was that even a secret? We popped up right here. You could literally, that was, you could see that on the screen whenever we loaded in. Good. <laughs> Hi there, guy. Uh, oh, do we get a ride? We get a ride down. Is this two player? Probably. I'm pretty sure it is. Which we were comparing it to the, we didn't even get a like, they didn't have a mini game for us riding down or anything like that. Dude, that was the most exciting part of, like, the entire episode when they come to Bossing Say. Man, <laughs> that's disappointing as hell. Anyways, I was uh, comparing it to Nicktoons Unite because that's what it makes me think of. Yeah, it was another Nickelodeon multiplayer game where all the characters played almost exactly the same. And it had very simple, boring combat mechanics that is just, you know, barely passable. <laughs> so... I don't know if it's like the same developer. I could look that up, but meh. Um, <laughs> but that's 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 what it makes me think of, though. Oh. Uh, these things are gonna make my hand stink. Okay. Or stink rough. That's cool. So stink we got we got one from there. It's what you're good at. Okay, so are, either all the portraits are broken, or that's just how the portraits look, man. <laughs> at this point, I'm not sure. I heard King Boomy didn't even put up a fight. Oh, I vaguely remember that. Are, wait, are you all going to say the same thing? The smog from the Fire Nation chimneys is polluting the air. If you're looking for supplies, there's a warehouse to the north. Okay. But why Like, why would they all be broken, though, man? And you're, you say the exact same thing the other one did. Good. That's good game design right there, man. Let's uh, put a bunch of NPCs, but have none of them give you any <laughs> new or useful information. Also, what's the point of having, like, the health upgrade system, like God of War, if you're just going to put a chest every 10 steps? 
out in the open. Like, you don't even have to look for it. Look, I may be being a little bit too hard on the game, man. Who knows? Maybe, maybe later on it'll get better. This is still, like, we've only been playing for 20-some minutes, you know? This is still introduction territory. I mean, technically, God of War did that, too. Yeah, but I feel like it wasn't nearly as often, man. Like, throw a boomerang using circle. I mean, I could do that. <laughs> Just teleport up. <laughs> oh, my God. So, can I, like... See, this would be, like, a, a decent little secret here. If I could, like, use that to, to get somewhere secret or something like that. It doesn't look like it's... Sadly. Maybe, uh... Maybe later on that'll be a thing. Oh, shit. We almost dead. Uh, do I need to hit it again? I guess I probably have to hit it again, huh? Oh, I just... It literally just picked Aang up off the ground. That was, uh... That was cool, I guess. <laughs> like I said, I may be being a little bit too hard on the game. I don't know, man. But it seems like it's pretty often... That these uh, chests are chests are appearing. We've got a health potion, and just like way out in the open. God of War definitely did have some out in the open, but I feel like a lot of them were were at least better hidden. Not necessarily like perfectly hidden or anything like that, but more so than than what we've seen so far here. I mean, we literally had one of the uh, the secrets. That... Did you see the fucking boomerang? Bro, can we do that again? The boomerang, like, went in the pipe and then just stayed there on the front of the pipe, just spinning forever. Uh, I won't do it again. <laughs> I'll take the lead from here. You want to see Aang rip a Fire Nation soldier's arms off? <laughs> yes, please, dude. Oh, my God. That would be amazing. Avatar v uh, God of War. Avatar characters. Just we need, a, we need to make that into a mod. That's what they need to do, man. Is there a reverse engineering project for the original God of War? <laughs> so that we can get a PC port and add proper mods? Because that's what I'm going to do, man. I'm just going to replace every uh, creature uh, with with characters from the Avatar series. <laughs> and of course, Kratos will be replaced with Aang himself, man. Obviously. I mean, who else, who else would you replace him with, you know? For the people out there that have watched the Avatar series, what was the sequel called? The 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 spin-off, the second one. I for some reason it's completely escaping my mind and it's bothering the hell out of me that I can't remember what it's called. Legend of Korra. Okay, so it was Korra. It was just Legend of Korra. I don't remember. <laughs> I've already forgotten if that's something I was talking about while uh, my mic was uh, broken. Or if uh, <laughs> that was something that I was mentioning or earlier. But uh, I said Korra. I thought maybe it was Korra, but I, I completely forgot the Legend of part. Which I feel is a little bit important. I literally feel like I could do this with my eyes closed. The combat stuff. Obviously getting around might be a little bit harder. Uh, can we... Okay, I was gonna... <laughs> Whenever it popped up unlock, I was like, wait a second, are we literally just gonna, like, unlock it? Are we going to... Are we gonna fucking pick the lock with our airbending skills here or something? No, okay, we gotta... We gotta get up there. Okay. There you go. They're destroyed. We did it. Lose the glasses? Bruh, I ain't even mad. Like... I said, I'm pretty sure I could do this with my eyes closed, so... Close enough. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, the world's first uh, blindfolded speed run of uh, Avatar the the last Airbender Fire Nation attacks or whatever the fuck this game's called. Um, <laughs> I I've honestly forgotten what it's called. That's another health potion, supply room key, a secret. I mean. Was it, though? Because the secret was right next to the key that we kind of had to get. Maybe maybe we didn't have to do this area at all, so everything's a secret? Question mark? <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of, man. That's why I had to do it. Okay, okay. Fuck! 
Congestion, stop it. <clears throat> like, my throat hasn't been hurting as much, which is awesome. But, like, today it's starting to hurt. I think it's because the cold is working its way out of my system. So, uh... Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. I appreciate it. I'm pretty sure that says five. Could be a six, but, I mean, you pretty much always do five. So, <laughs> I think I think I'm right in saying that. What are you doing? Why were you on top of the fucking post that I'm sure has a name, but I forget the name of it. Anyways, um... But yeah, now that like the, the cold is clearing up and everything's draining out, it's making my, my throat hurt again, which fucking sucks. But is what it is, I guess. At least that hopefully means it's on its way out, you know? So I'll take what I can get. <clears throat> uh sir? <laughs> are you are you okay there, sir? <laughs> You know, honestly, I'm not convinced that the problem is I have a scratched disc. Um, and not that this game's just a buggy piece of shit. <laughs> I'm just just throwing that out there, man. That, that's a very real possibility. We, I mean, we had the portraits. We have uh, the teleporting up randomly whenever whenever we uh, go underneath those, those manhole covers. Uh, that one dude just turned albino as fuck, and for some reason his clothes did at the same time. Like... <laughs> uh. So, like, yeah, man. I don't know. The game may just be, like, broken. Entirely broken. I need to lean forward a little bit so I can read the chat. That's what happened with mine. You still get coughing fits with yours, Noodle? Yeah, you you are still coughing, dude, which is weird as fuck. I hardly even got a cough with mine. I'm coughing a little bit more now because, you know, there's a bunch of grossness in my, my throat and lungs. But, like, yeah. Your mucus drain in your throat was killer. Cough drops were your best friend. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. I wish I would have bought some um, cough drops or... or uh, throat soothing drops or something even just like mints a lot of times i feel like can be pretty pretty soothing for the throat you know so something but oh well i have to try and remember to do that well, actually i'm off work tomorrow because i i will hopefully <clears throat> be streaming odin sphere for for quite a few hours tomorrow um but the next time i, I go to work or new to works tomorrow maybe I don't know, Noodle, does your store sell, like, the, the throat drops? Not the cough drops, but, like, the... I think they usually come in, like, cherry flavor or something. Or just a bag of Lifesaver mints, honestly, would be fine for me. Like, don't push yourself if you can't do it. I'm definitely going to stream tomorrow, that's for sure. Whether we do the whole four hours or not, we'll, we'll find out. But, uh, I'm definitely gonna, gonna stream, at least. <laughs> Mucin XD will help, man. I try not to take too many, uh, like, cold medicine, medicine, um, <laughs> uh, Noodle, are you trying to tell us something here? Uh, <laughs> um, anyways, as I was saying, I try not to take too much cold medicine, uh, just because it makes me feel like shit. Then do a shit ton of NyQuil and DayQuil. Uh, I mean, that's still kind of cold medicine there. <laughs> uh, Here are the supplies and but, all like, the we need. look, it's fine. This will be enough. Just uh, hey, Tylenol guys, and chill. I don't know. <laughs> once a day, once a night, it's great for cold. So we can bust all the citizens out. Oh, and Boomer's been imprisoned ever since he surrendered. Whoa. Robitussin has a cough suppressant. It was nice oh, when you had COVID. See, I hardly got a cough around. with COVID, too. Let's this cold is up. worse than my COVID is. We were talking about that last night. Why for me, again, to clarify, for me, people have literally died, a lot of people from COVID. So it can be much worse, but my COVID was not that bad. Let's find my friend. Oh, I guess that was the end of that section. Uh... <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's been a month since I've unplugged my PS2, man. <laughs> I can tell because the clock says February. I need another drink, I think.
I feel like I need to like gargle some water or something to rinse out my fucking throat. Or get one of those like things that you shove up your nose and it just rinses everything out. <laughs> Noodle fucking hates those things. But sometimes, man, it sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> Noodle fucking hates those things. Neti pots okay, and salt water? <clears throat> yeah, there's... I mean, there's neti pots and then there's like another version too. And uh, I don't want your cough drops because your cough drops are disgusting. She gets those like... What are they called? They're all natural. Uh, they're not like Paul's. What are they? I forget the name of them, love. But uh... Ricola, yeah, yeah. She gets them, them Ricolas, man. And they just smell disgusting to me. Like, I do not... Of course, right now, I can't taste anything. So, like, it probably wouldn't really, uh... Probably wouldn't really bother me at the moment. But still. Generally speaking, they fucking suck. Uh, so, that's it. We just hold triangle and forward on the joystick. That was... That was hard, man. I'm glad we figured out that puzzle. Wait, what was that? We opened up the chest. It didn't... What... What'd it do? Hmm. They just taste a little sweet. They smell like asshole. So, like... <laughs> I don't... I don't care what they taste like, man. <laughs> like, I think I'll pass on that one. I don't know. <laughs> uh uh, but yeah, the, the, the breezers or whatever they're called, um, something like that. I, it's not, I feel like that's not what I'm thinking of, hey, but like, I don't know. Like I said, honestly, like just some, uh, lifesavers mints would probably be good enough for me. That way they're non-medicated too. So like I can eat as many of them as I want without risking getting a little sick or whatever. Avatar. Zuko! <laughs> I do it's not get mad at you, you weirdo. <laughs> this time you're mine. I will have my I do call you stinky Imagine because you stink, but <laughs> but I don't, I don't get mad at you. Hi, Zuko and Zuko's sister. Azula, that's your name. Thank you. Run, Zuko. You cannot win at this time. There are too many. <sighs> Get the avatar. I'll take care of my brother. She's already He's shooting lightning at her brother. Holy hell, dude. Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> She's my favorite character, man. If I don't remember her name, but the the one that's yeah. just so bleh all the time. <laughs> Fuck that little bitch. Wait. Egg. Yeah, not her, but the other one. Not the not the circus Lost. girl, but the uh the one that ends up uh, really liking May. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her and Zuko got a thing going on. May's pretty cool. I like May. Hello. Do you wanna do you wanna talk to me? Fire Nation treats us like slaves. I'm sorry. Hello. Are you here to join the resistance? King Boomy is a powerful bender. King Boomy should have helped us instead of surrendering. Wait a second. So they do have different voice lines, but. Oh, no, but they just, like, repeat the same, like, handful. Many people think the king was wrong to surrender, but he's a smart and powerful earthbender. I bet there was a reason. Have you come to save us? Omashu oh, used to be a wonderful city before the Fire Nation took over. thought the resistance people would have given up. But you know what? I don't really want to sit here and, <laughs> and find out every voice line that you had. Ty Lee is kick-ass, though. Yeah. I mean, like, she's strong. But, like, I, I don't know. She wasn't my favorite character or anything. I didn't hate her by any means. All of the characters in uh, Avatar were actually pretty cool. Except for um, Zuko's dad. Zuko's dad was kind of, you know, a bitch. But <laughs> the rest of them were pretty cool. You do like how she became a Kyoshi warrior? Did she? I forgot that. I do not remember that tidbit of information. I'm sure you're correct. I just don't remember it. Kyoshi is awesome. She and Toph are my favorite characters. Yeah, Toph's always awesome. I feel like a lot of people really like Toph, man. She just, you know, she's got all that spunk. She's blind as shit. <laughs> also sassy. I feel like... 
Oh no, okay. She doesn't get that ability too much la later. I was gonna say, I feel like having Toph here would be pretty cool because she could like bend all this metal. Maybe like, um, maybe she could like move the, the metal with her metal bending or some shit like that. But I guess she doesn't unlock that ability until later in the series. She created a new form of bending also. Yes, as I was saying. <laughs> I think the desync messed us up on that one, but yeah. How she ended up doing that was pretty cool too, being locked in that uh, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her dad's goons, that's who it was that captured her. Uh, and then she was like all locked up in that. And they're like, I don't care how good of an earthbender you are, no one can escape from that steel box. And then she's like, huh, <laughs> I wonder. And then she just fucking bends it, man. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Bitch, this is Earth. Watch me. <clears throat> I wonder if a uh, Earthbender's ever tried to bend the moon. <laughs> like, because like that should be possible too, right? 7:02 a.m. So that's the newest one. Go down a save. I don't know why I'm doing like RPG tactics of of you know switching up the uh, saves every time, but habit, I guess. That and Zuko in the ice box. Uh, I remember them, like, being cold, but I don't remember exactly what you're talking about. You talking about the inner fire thing? That, like, his, his, uh, uncle told him something about, like, his inner fire to stay warm? I don't remember. Why do they seem like zombies? Oh, because they have pentapox, quote, unquote. Okay. Good. They're safe. Now what we have to do is get up the outside of the palace and find Boomy. The palace. Let's go. You mean, wait a second. There's a pool of water here in the middle of the courtyard. And you mean I can't do anything with it? What kind of bullshit? Like, <laughs> I'm a waterbender, man. Let me like, let me bend this shit. Do something cool with it. There's two pools of water. Ah, uh, that's fucking tragic, dude. No secrets, nothing. Okay fine fine it's fine that was just a big empty courtyard for the sake of having a big empty courtyard now, there might end up being a battle there later or something i guess man this game is severely lacking in enemies like uh just to keep the god of war comparison going like god of war definitely had large open areas like this but unless you were solving a puzzle you were fighting something. And oftentimes, you were fighting something while solving puzzles. <laughs> and I feel like that's what this game needs more of. Even though the combat's not amazing or anything, um, it's still better than, than non-existent. Uh, game. Thank you, finally, for triggering that I've been hitting the shit out of this bridge. Wow, the view is great up here. Icebox in jail basically makes a firebender useless. Zuko used a breathing technique that his uncle taught him and his uncle learned it from airbenders. Yeah, see? See, I got it. I didn't remember all the details, but I remembered. come from so this is Aang the mighty avatar governor is that you where did you come from that voice Quiet, you let him go He's why does that voice sound so familiar you lock him up the the quote-unquote that guy the king is dead long live the king I'm not dead who is that voice Quiet, actor you? that's it I'm tired of talking guards destroy them both That dude sounds super familiar, man. He's got to be from something that I've seen before. The governor. I'm going to have to look up his IMDb. <laughs> I'm sure it's got to be listed, right? Oh, wait. Are you going to, like, come down and fight, maybe? Or are you just going to, like, chill up there forever? Ow. <laughs> uh, get frozen, bitch. Ah, uh, 
I guess I can't freeze. I mean, it makes sense that you wouldn't be able to freeze, like, boss-type characters. Also, Aang, you fucking suck, man. <laughs> Katara's still over here kicking his fucking ass. And what are you doing? Just dying? Uh, Katara's flying? I didn't know she was an airbender, too. What was that? I didn't even get hit by anything. Why did I get pushed back? Just fucking mash square, dude. That's all you gotta fucking do. Like... Honestly, the most embarrassing thing is that I died to that one dude earlier. Okay, I guess you actually do need to pay a little bit of attention. Because, like, that, that attack that you just did hitting the ground actually did a fair amount of damage. Uh, what's the potion button? Up oh, there it goes. There you go. I have full health again. <laughs> You're spoiling the peace in my city. Again, this is like Nicktoons Unite, man. It's basically, like, reiterating the same thing. I'm very disappointed because I feel like this could have been a good experience, you know, a fun time. But instead of that, we ended up with this. Something mediocre at best. Like, every time Aang enters the Avatar state, we don't even get to control him. It's just a little cutscene with some fucking uh, quick time events, man. Like... And, like, God of War had a bunch of quick time events, and I fucking love God of War. Like, I'm not... I'm not down talking quick time events you know but like bruh the avatar state is like the thing in avatar you know that that's ang's like secret sauce special power dude and we don't even get to experience that the same with like sliding down this fucking shit here dude like why don't we get to play that part that's such an iconic part of the show what's the matter with you boomy ang why don't you wait and listen I'm waiting. Excellent. Now you've got it. You've always been a quick learner. What are you talking about, Boomy? The key to earthbending is listening and waiting for the right moment to strike. That's why you surrender, isn't it? Also, yes. I've noticed I mean, there's no lip syncing at all. Like, they didn't even try someone else to, teach to lip sync, man. <laughs> Your will be oh, wait. Nope. There it is. Now it's lip syncing. <laughs> the okay, fuck, Boomy. dude? I'll trust you. Take care, old friend. Yep, yep. <laughs> like, why Why was there no lip syncing at all? And then just randomly out of nowhere, it started lip syncing. Like, what? What? Why? <laughs> How does that make any fucking sense, dude? What is this game? <laughs> fucking wow. Anyways, though, uh, we've been playing for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break, give my, my throw a very short rest and uh, run the ad so Twitch doesn't make us run an ad in the middle of the gameplay. And uh, I'm going to try to go a little bit longer tonight though. We're going to try to hit that 130 mark uh, as per the schedule. So we will be back in just a few minutes, guys. Thank you for, for chilling with me for a bit, man. I appreciate y'all that are that are still here and dealing with my, my sick ass. Uh, <laughs> BRB into Skyrim lately with the uh, anniversary update that just came out. I've been playing a lot of that. A, a unmodded run is what I'm trying to do. That way, if for any reason I have to have to quit for one reason or another, I can actually come back to it without having to like try to re-download and update all my mods and everything like that. I mean, I do still have some mods, but it's like Sky UI and, and more HUD. Just... just quality of life stuff nothing that actually changes the game i don't know if there's any reason to do stunts in this game like i i see that i'm getting a score for it but this is just a race right so in theory that shouldn't really matter pretty simple track for the first one but we are in the amateur league at the moment so can't expect too much point ah oh, we biffed it Get back up. And we were doing so well, too. Just going with Honda because of the car you drive? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, though, the Honda seemed like a pretty decent bike as well, though. In the uh, in the game here. Or ATV, whatever you want to call it. Hey, that dude's got the same exact everything as me. Copycat. Uh. Seems like a big part of the game is trying to land as flat as possible. 
I also don't see why everybody's going to the outside edge. Is that just because they're amateurs? <laughs> you should always do turns on the inside edge. I don't know if we're going to win this first one. We were doing really good at first, but... Then they started to catch up on us here. Whenever we wrecked. I think I need to... We got this. We got this. Come on. Come on. No. What? Third place. How are they gaining so much speed on them jumps? Are they just landing better than I am? It's the only thing I can think of. Haven't been playing much lately on your lap. I miss my sorbet machine. That's a weird way to, to come back. I uh, I uh, don't know how long my mic's been muted this time. I hope it wasn't too long. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I miss sorbet, man. I can't taste it. So, like, it's kind of pointless to make it need it right now. But we haven't made any in a while. We did make some frozen yogurt, I which weird. I was really excited but for. But, like... It was not I good, land? man. I don't know. Like, There's something you know how yogurt has a little bit of sourness to it? Once it was frozen, that sourness hey, became, like, overwhelming. Like, all of the sweetness was just gone from it. I did blend up some, uh... I did blend up some chocolate into it, so it was, like, a chocolate frozen yogurt, which I thought would be pretty decent, but, like, no. It just ended up being very not good we that's we ended up deciding to throw it out i think if we do I've got a bad frozen yogurt again we're gonna have to like uh wait a second so he starts with like an apple and then turns into a cabbage to throw at someone like he even plays exactly the same as the other characters anyways um what was i saying oh yeah no i think whenever we try frozen yogurt again because i definitely do want to try making yes i'm momo I definitely do want to try making frozen yogurt again at some point. So whenever we do do that, I think we're going to have to... Um... Okay, that was a thing that we can do. Anyways, uh, I think we're going to have to like add some extra sugar to it or something like that. Wait, how do we... Oh, we actually have to like attack the vines? Oh, okay. Sure, why not? Like, something to help cut that, that, uh, whatchamacallit down. The, 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 the sourness of... Ow, dude, what? I wasn't even over there. <laughs> the sourness of the, the yogurt. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming sugar would work, but I don't know. I know the way. Something looks dangerous up ahead. What, where? I don't even know where we're going. I didn't seem to be able to go any farther in this direction. Can we go, like, over there? Also, is Momo fucking stuck? Can he not path his way over to where I was? Ah, you... You bitch. How did I get all the way back here? Oh, okay, so we can't stand in that water. We can only stand in the water over there. Look, I know I'm stupid. I'm not gonna sit here and try to claim that I'm not. But where the fuck are we supposed to be going? Oh, just over here. Okay. Well, I tried to jump over the fucking thing and it wouldn't let me, so I thought we couldn't go over here. <laughs> no, we just had to walk around it instead of jumping over it. Morning sudden drops. Find the correct path. Okay. This is this is my favorite section in any video game ever. The the carefully find a path that you can't see section oh no this is this is so difficult ah <laughs> i'm i'm so glad we figured that out guys wasn't that a thrilling sequence what's there 
Who's Why did that? that look like? Is that you, Mom? Oh, it's her mother. Honestly, I thought it was just her. <laughs> hey, Momo. I got a hole <laughs> for you to go in. Thank you, sir. I wouldn't be surprised if you could jump and grab this. branch X. Okay. Uh, do we just like press X again? How do we? Okay, yeah. Easy enough. Are you ready? Oh nope, I didn't mean to switch. Nice work. There you go. Gave your bridge. Should be careful here. The fact that Momo had a little uh, thing to breathe, a bamboo thing. It was cute. That was a cute sequence. I'll, I'll give the game that much. But, like, man, a couple little cute sequences here and there, I don't think are going to be enough to save it. It's just not a very good game, man. Katara. Mother, I... We literally spawned in and fell to the ground I once the camera was on us. <laughs> that's not your mom. That's a dead tree. <laughs> <laughs> a village, Momo. Oh my god. Have seen the others. Let's go. Don't believe this? Wait, what? <laughs> Don't believe what? Did I say something Maybe not to believe? The village knows where the others are. Wow. <laughs> Let's get to that village. I don't know what the don't believe this and wow were about, but oh the Katara mom thing? Yeah. Katara, what are you doing? Why are you just randomly charging up a shot? Not even in the direction of the enemies, man. Can I break these? No? Okay. Well, that's that's upsetting. Hey, another health thingy. So one more for an upgrade. Cool, cool. I mean, I like health upgrades. Those are always nice. Just upgrades in general. Do we have, like... Power points can be used to increase your skills. That's cool. Um, too bad we haven't gotten any. How have we not gotten any yet? Also, here we go. Turn that up. Turn vibration on. Why is, like, vibration turned off in so many games? Do people hate vibrations that much? In video games? Like, I don't know. I've always been a fan of it, personally. I did not mean to use our special attack <laughs> right there. Momo was stuck in the ice that we were forming there. Cool. Cool. Sir, Voice acting's broken. There it goes. Children in the village. All the men are away fishing. Perfect. Today we will rid the swamp of this filthy waterbender village once and for all. Attack! The lip syncing is broke again. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Go extinguish the fires. Okay. We can do that. In a swampy village, man. Uh, wait a second. Oh, so now I can use my focus move in any direction if I want, instead of just using it straight forward. Uh, wait a second. Are we supposed to be using this to put out the fire or to kill people? I thought we were trying to put out the fire with it, but then these these freaks kept spawning. Okay, so we were trying to put out the fire with it. Also, I love how the the hut just like fixed itself whenever we did that. Like it looks brand new now. Is the is the swamps here? Is this where she learned the blood bending that she decided not to use? I don't remember, but I feel like it is. Someone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that. I'm assuming if we just keep attacking the house. Yeah, there we go. I was going to say that it'll go out eventually, right? Thank you for my 99 cent tip. Oh, is that what I... Is that the change that I gave you? <laughs> Was 99 cents. <laughs> oh. I had no idea what you were talking about. It took me a moment to realize what the fuck you were talking about, man. I had uh, some change in my pocket and Noodle collects change, so I <laughs> put it on the table for her. I found it in your work drawer when I was organizing it. Oh. Well, I mean, that's fine too, I guess. <laughs> you can take that. You steal all of the change that I get anyways, regardless of uh, where it comes from. Like, we, we share our income 
right? Like it all goes into a uh, not all of it. We keep a little bit for for like personal spending money and to 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 eat while we're out and whatnot. But like for the most part, we we share all of our money, so it goes into uh, my bank account, and that's for like paying bills and buying food for the house and and uh, large purchases and all that stuff, right? Um, so Noodle was supposed to send me whatever she makes minus the, the money that she gets to keep to buy her own shit every week. But she never sends me the change. I don't know how much money exactly at this point she has, uh, basically, uh, stolen from <laughs> us. But I'm willing to bet it's like a hundred some dollars. And all the change that I bring home. Whether it's my personal money or a shared money, if I bring home change and leave it sitting somewhere, it will disappear. You look like you could use some help. Jet, just when I thought Fuck you, Jet. Get worse. It's okay, Katara. Nobody likes side. you. Let's finish these guys and then talk. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> you better have something. Fuck Jet, say. man. Uh, does he play any different from the other characters? Let's see. Square does a simple uh, combo attack that we can do over and over and over again. And a circle does, ooh, it's a ranged kick. So we actually like move with it. What happens if we hold circle and charge up our attack? We, we do a faster kick. <laughs> oh my God, man. Fucking trash, dude. All right, whatever. Just, just murder him with water. Also, are all of these uh, NPCs supposed to be frozen in place? Like, are they supposed to be running around in fear or something like that? Or are they supposed to be... Thanks for helping us? Uh, bruh. I hate to tell you, but we're still currently... <laughs> we're still currently in a fucking battle. You know that, right? Like, what do you mean thanks for helping you? Katara is so, so brave. Are you doing here, Jet? This game's fucking broken. <laughs> Katara, I've changed. I swear. I think you told I me about the presidential gold dollars. I don't remember you mentioning control. the Bahama nickel. That's sick, Would dude. I put that all behind me? Why Congrats, love. You? You've lied before. I don't even have the gang now. They're all helping the refugees from the village we flooded. I'm heading to Bossing Se in the Earth Kingdom to start over. Okay, so like, dude, <laughs> is is my disc like that fucked up? I gotta check real quick, cause like I check all of my discs when they when I get them, uh, to make sure that like they can read properly now. Granted, I check using my computer, um, and and my computer's disk drive is different from the PS2's disk drive. So, like, you know, it's not a perfect, uh, 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 da -da, not analogy, but whatever, you know what I mean. Anyways, point is, let me check real quick. I checked this one at some point whenever I bought it. Did it... The Burning Earth, that's this one. Yeah, no. So, like... All of the data was able to read off the disk properly without error. So, like, again, I'm sure the PS2 disk drive isn't quite as nice as my, my PC one. You know, the laser's much older. It probably has a little bit harder time reading. But that doesn't excuse how many glitches we've had, man. Why is, like, all of the lip syncing fuck up, fucked up? Your thingy fell off your drawer? What? What are you talking about? My thingy? We should find What's the my energy. thingy? Let's start cutting through here. Wait, Sokka. I don't think we should My cut my anything. dick? <laughs> feels strangely my, my dick fell off wrong. my my drawer? There's a path. Let's hope the others are on it too. The slider thingy? It's a slider thingy. Fell off my drawer. You mean like what the thing that the drawer goes what into? Go for uh hold R1 button to roll. Uh, Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> oh, okay. So we just we just need to run, but we have to roll under some things like that. Do you say dick on the door? Yeah, that's what I'm confused about, man. She just said my thingy fell off the door, and I couldn't. I don't know what the hell my thingy is. So the thing on the bottom of the door. Looks like a job for an airbag. Okay. <laughs> You'll just have to show me when I get downstairs, love, because I I cannot. Let's be careful. I cannot remember or think of what the hell you're talking about. I thought you were referring to a dodo. I mean, maybe. Hey, Nate. Are you still around, bud? Because if you are, I want you to look at the screen real quick. These are monkeys. 
<laughs> this is what a monkey looks like. I don't think this looks the same as that portrait that we saw yesterday when we were playing that Dynasty Warriors knockoff. Warriors Orochi 2. Like, <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. I think you're probably right. Like, jokes aside, uh, I think you're probably right and it's meant to be like a big, bulky, fucked up monkey or something like that. But, yeah, like, it did not look like a fucking monkey to me, dude. Those things look like monkeys that we just murdered brutally. Uh, also, we're stuck. Help. Hey, look, another secret that's just obviously out in the middle of the path. Can we jump over to here? Yes, we can. Thank you. You thought you were going to ask him about a dodo or something? Hey, Nate, what do you know about dodos, man? <laughs> do they happen to have one called the thingy? Because apparently it fell off my drawer. And I didn't even know I had one. Like... It sounded like it. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, no, you're not wrong. That That's kind of the, the joke, man. <laughs> like, obviously, my literal penis was not on the drawer. Hey, Toph! Hi there! Wait, is this... This isn't where we find Toph at for the first time, is it? Did we first find her in the swamp? In the, in the TV show? And our imaginations are playing tricks on us. I don't fucking remember, man. Whoa! Look at Discord. Saka? Oh, fuck. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Oh, like the, the Monkey King or whatever. Like what Goku himself is based off of. Saka. That uh, that old uh, Asian tale. I don't think it was Japanese specifically. Was it Chinese? I think it might have been Chinese. In the Monkey King. Maybe, like I said, I think maybe you're right and it is based off of something like that, but I just, I like picking on you. Like, <laughs> you thought it was going to be a dodo because of the thingy? So did I. So did I. That's that's why I was like, oh god, what did I get myself into? Destroy the polluted barrels. I don't think that's how cleaning up pollution works. I don't think if we break <laughs> barrels of pollution that it's going to clean up the pollution. I, I mean, I'm not an, a, what, what is it, an ecologist? But I think it might make things worse. Uh, just say. <laughs> IDK, where it originates from? And no, you said before, not the platform for that. That's fair. That's fair. I would appreciate if people didn't uh, share pictures of, uh, you know. We need to make an 18 plus only Discord channel for that, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Because technically, right now, I don't have a rule against people under the age of 18 being on there. Now, obviously... Uh... Hi, spider. Dildos are, like, you know, I'm sure <laughs> most people under the age of 18 have seen a dildo before. Uh, but yeah. Oh my god, man. One of the uh, worst stories that I have from my job in retail. Right? It's not actually one of the worst, but it's still one of the worst is uh, I was working in like the, you know, the, the pharmacy section of the store one day. This was years ago. And uh, the store that I work at happens to sell a, a couple personal vibrators and uh, dildos and things like that, right? And uh, there were a group of young girls over there looking at the um, tampons and stuff like that, which, you know, fine. It sounded like vaguely, I wasn't trying to uh, listen in that closely, um, but like someone can get, yep. Uh, anyways, I wasn't trying to listen that closely, but it sounded like one of the older girls was, you know, telling one of the younger girls about like tampons and pads, you know, kind of trying to guide her into what she may want to get or whatever, which is fine, you know, totally cool. That's awesome. Good for them. But then there was, uh, like, two other girls, and, like, these people didn't look to be older than 14 or 15, man, right? Like, they, they, they had to be young. Anyways, um, and they were standing off to the side near where the personal vibrators and stuff are. And I swear to God, one of them was like, this is the one I have. I think you should get something like this to the other one. And I was just like, bro... You're like 14 though. Like, <laughs> like, and like, 
<laughs> like, do you really, do you really need all that at that age? I don't know, man. It just seems like a bit much to me, but yeah. So that was, uh, that was the thing. Obviously, I didn't actually say anything. I just walked away and kept doing my job. But yeah, that was, that was a weird day, man. <laughs> like... So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that story. There's, uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not really that surprising, I guess, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's better to use that than a real one and get pregnant at that age. I mean, yeah, that's fair, man. I'm, I'm totally, I'm totally for that. And I've got nothing against that sort of thing, but like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm very, I'm very, uh, sex positive person, you know, like, uh, I'm I'm pro, I'm pro uh, uh, sex and sex and and, and self gratification and things like that. I have absolutely no problem with that. But like, I don't know, man. It just seemed like a, a bit young to me uh, to be talking about that with uh, <laughs> in public. Like, cause I mean, like, you don't need you know toys <laughs> to do that sort of thing. But I don't know, man. Whatever. I ain't gonna judge. Safety first, kids. <laughs> oh. And as a guy, like, there's, like, no toy options for me anyways, man. So, like, let me tell you. You can do just fine without fucking <laughs> toys. Oh. Destroy the final barrel. Where art thou fine? Oh, it's right fucking here. Fleshlights, bro. So, like, funny story. You also want to know um, a, a actual, like, funny story? Uh, also awkward because you're way over age and hearing. Yeah, that's true. That is awkward as hell. Um, or was awkward as hell. Hence why I just walked away. Because, like, <laughs> like, there have been, like, older people that have asked questions. Also, the fucking pollution, like, completely cleared up. And that just annoys me. Anyways, um, because there are, like, older people that come in. And by older people, I mean, like, people my age, maybe a little bit older or whatever. That get, like, so embarrassed about that sort of stuff. And I just, I am not embarrassed about that sort of stuff. So uh, I think it's hilarious whenever like they get all shy and coy and try to ask questions about it or whatever. The the best ones are whenever like they're with a friend who is not shy, but they are. So then it's like me and the other friend uh, being dicks about it. But anyways, so like actual funny story about flashlights, right? Um, I have been curious in my life about male sex toys because as i've said i am pro uh masturbation and uh sex and all of those things anyways and so uh one day i see a code for adamandeve.com um i'm not endorsing them in any way or anything just saying i saw a code from them for like i think it was 50 percent off of of anything on the website anything at all so I'm looking through, you know, the different options for men on there. And one of them was uh, on sale. It was a, uh, a, a, a fleshlight knockoff pocket pussy kind of thing, right? And um, I forget how much it was originally, but I ended up paying like $8 plus shipping or something for it. So like it was cheap and it was a highly reviewed one and whatnot, but it was like a going out of like that model wasn't being sold anymore or whatever. So it was super cheap. Anyway, so I, I order it, and I don't say anything to Noodle. It's not that I was trying to hide it or anything. Um, I was just like, I don't know, I didn't even think about it, right? So I, it ends up arriving, and uh, Noodle was at work or going to work or something like that. So I just left it in a bag, and I brought it upstairs, and I put it in, or I, I sat it beside the bed in the bag. Like, I just left it in a bag, right? And Noodle comes home. I was downstairs using the restroom or cooking or something. I don't remember. Anyways, I was downstairs doing something. She came upstairs and uh, she was looking for the remote. I get up here and she just looks at me as soon as I walk in the door and is like, am I not good enough for you? With like actually like looking sad, man. And I instantly realized why, because she found the toy sitting on the side of the bed. So I start dying fucking laughing because like, obviously that's not what the problem was there. Um, anyways, <laughs> so, like, I'm dying laughing and like, no, like, of course you are. It's not like that. I was just curious or whatever. And she's like, I was looking for the remote and I found it 
and or I saw the bag, so I thought maybe it's in the bag for some reason. So I stuck my hand in to feel and check, and my finger went inside it. <laughs> and I, at that point, I'm pretty sure I literally died at that point, man, because <laughs> she was like halfway to tears <laughs> talking about how her finger went inside it. And <laughs> It was just, oh my god. <coughs> it was uh, one of the greatest moments of my entire life. <laughs> it was fantastic, dude. <laughs> it was, oh lord. It was great. It was great. Uh, as for the toy, I think it was like a Sasha Gray uh like molded one or whatever i don't remember the brand or anything like that it was fun like <laughs> it was you know it got the job done but like yeah it wasn't anything special either so it was a weird texture and you snatched your hand back so fast i don't remember was it it might have been like ribbed on the inside or something like that i think it may have been i don't remember i only ever used it a few times before we ended up uh, throwing it out so like yeah. Oh, boy. Good times. Good times. You remember the star? I'm not positive if it was Sasha Gray. I just think it might have been. Um, and one of the reasons why I remember is because, like, I had never heard of them before I bought the toy. Again, I just got that one specifically because it was cheap. So I ended up looking them up and, like, body positivity. This is just, you know, personal preference. She wasn't for me. Like she wasn't, she wasn't my type at all. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's part of the reason why, why I think it was Sasha Gray. Like, it's a long story. He's gone. The fact that she asked she wasn't good enough. First thing is adorable though. Noodle is adorable, man. I, I love, I love Noodle so much. I love you, Noodle. But she's fucking hilarious sometimes. Most of the men went to hunt it. They're going to trap so anyways, this is a children's game that we're playing, uh, so... <laughs> we should be able to catch up with them if we leave now. Oh, There's God. Not far from here which goes I like direction. reassurance she does, Come man. On. She's a needy one. And I wouldn't change a thing. Sorry, I had to blow my nose a little bit, and I didn't think anyone wanted to hear that. Oh, fuck. Uh, yes, I want to save over that there. You asked me today if I still loved you, and I yelled at you? What are you talking about? I honestly don't remember. Did I? I, I mean, I know for a fact I didn't yell at her. That's just what she likes to say all the time. Um, that I yell at her for things when I don't. <laughs> but why is it that children games are when the worst combos happen? I don't know, man. I think because I get bored. <laughs> that and I want to make it very clear to everyone that I do not make children's content. In case that wasn't obvious enough. <clears throat> anytime I play a children's game... We are going to talk about sex and drugs, and we are going to say curse words like fuck. Um, <laughs> just, yeah. Nice work. Ooh, and can make ice bridges too. He doesn't cuddle me anymore. Oh my god, the past like day or two, because I've been sick, I haven't been cuddling her as much, I guess. I honestly, like, it hasn't been a conscious thing. That's just, I guess, how it's been working out. Anyways, so whenever I got up this morning, she was asking me if I didn't love her anymore because I wasn't cuddling her, like. <laughs> so, yeah. That's what that was about. And I definitely did not yell at her. Um, I don't even remember what I said. I probably laughed at her because that's what I normally do. <laughs> no, get fucked, Aang. Get, get fucked? Get fucked. Get fucked, Aang. Why does that sound so weird, man? That does not sound like a word. We are not child friendly. No, we are not. We're not at all. Oh, fuck. Shit, cocksucker, pussy, asshole, cunt, motherfucking dirty whore sat upon my lunch. What? <laughs> Why'd she sit on your lunch, man? 
being roommates with you guys would be hilarious. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. We're actually pretty tame most of the time. Yes, I still love you, you freak. Is that what I said? That does sound like something I would say. That's probably what I said. It was a song from TikTok. I can't why she did that. There's this guy I watch. I think it's a uh, guy with the hair official is the name of the uh, TikTok account or, or Facebook real account or whatever it is. Anyways, point is he makes uh, songs that sound like that sort of thing. And uh, it's great. Honestly, it's just great. You, Everyone should, should follow him. Um, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I like it. Is that the end of that battle already? I thought like they had this whole arena set up and everything. I thought maybe it was going to be some epic gauntlet or, or something, but nope. Checkpoint. Oh, no, there's three more spiders, guys. Not three more of the same basic enemies we've been... And sewer rats. Oh, fuck. We're so fucking... Uh, fucked now. Hey, everybody, got a favorite ass. Shut the fuck up and put on your mask. <laughs> Please and thank you. I've been wearing my mask at work lately because, you know, I'm sick and I'm not trying to, to uh, get other people sick. And I've gotten some weird looks from people and I'm pretty sure I heard some guys say today whenever I walked past them like what are you scared of the government or something um, but like they were still walking and I was still walking so I'm not positive if they were talking to me um, but I was just like bruh you're fucking stupid like obviously I didn't say anything I was at work I just kept walking um, but yeah it's like I do you, do you not realize that me wearing a mask doesn't do shit to protect me? Um, not only that, but there are no mask mandates or anything where I live or at the place that I work anymore. So it's not like I have to wear a mask because somebody is telling me to. And me wearing the mask is not protecting me. So it's not that I'm scared of anything. It's that I'm trying to stop you assholes from getting sick because I'm fucking sick. And although very unlikely, there's a very small chance I'm sick with the fucking vid. Like, <laughs> like so I'm sorry that I didn't want to try and, and be the reason that you or grandma or someone fucking dies. I am like 99.9% .9 sure it's a cold. Otherwise, I would not be uh, going to work. Um, I would be, you know getting a doctor's uh thing saying that hey i have to fucking uh quarantine and be staying at home but yeah i'd say no i'm scared to give you a heart attack with my terrifying power <laughs> my ugly ass face will mm, kill you if you saw what it really looked like uh you also had one of the backyard again songs stuck in his head from time to time for some reason wait what me are you talking about me? I don't even remember. Oh, into the thick of it. Yeah, that part. <laughs> into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Oh, no, we, I don't really know how the song goes. It's just the into the thick of it part. I don't know which way we're going. I'm assuming this way. Why am I blinking? You forgot the UG? I've definitely forgotten the UG. My power randomly flickered. What did I come back to? <laughs> I don't remember. Honestly, I just say things on the internet. Uh, yeah, that's that's a thing. But anyways, yeah, guy with the hair official. Y'all should check him out. He's he's hilarious, man. Make some good songs. Hey, thank you for another five bits, love. You're slowly working up at the uh, 99 cents that you just stole from me today. <laughs> FNF UG with Tank Man? I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is, man. You lost me. You done lost me. You all done with your chores for the day so we can play Stardew Valley? Fuck yeah, dude. Noodle and I have been playing the fuck out of Stardew Valley. It's a fun time. But yeah. Something about mask and yeah, just completely went out. Dude, that fucking sucks. Mine didn't, but I'm pretty sure we're on like a slightly different grid from you guys. Because like, I live on a hill for those of you who don't know. And, uh, there's been a couple times where the power's gone out, like, around us, but not us. Like, everyone down the hill, like, literally next door neighbor down will be out of power, 
and then uh, we'll still have power. So we must be like, right, like the next Transformer up or something along those lines. I don't, I don't really know, man. But like, yeah. Is it storming out or something? No, nah, I mean, I, I remember Making seeing something on the weather about a possibility of thunderstorms, but I haven't seen or heard anything. Bigger than your Holy shit, I spelled cell, Rhythm dude. Night? Well, Friday Night Funkin', that's first the one. Yeah, I haven't actually played it, but I've watched some videos on it. It does look really good. I want to play it. Especially because, like, I do like rhythm games. Appa, hurry, boy, get out of there. I like the dark. I'm a big fan of a, the dark. Ah, uh, we finally get to play as Appa. The music is a barrel. <laughs> I'm assuming that means like bop or something, but like, okay, I haven't been nor looked outside in like eight hours. Holy shit, dude. What else can you do, Appa? Nothing? Just throw fruit at people? How is Appa throwing fruit anyways? Is there someone on his back? Does he have a turret on his back? I don't know how this works. I'm confused. What happens if we miss a ring? Anything? It's been an odd day. <laughs> oh, you were trying to type bop? You have no idea what happened there? Maybe it's an emote, because the way uh, emotes work on Twitch is you just spell something in all caps. And if it's a global emote or, or an emote of someone you're subscribed to, it'll show the emote. So, uh, maybe, maybe Bop is like a global emote or something like that. I don't know. Oh, every time we get a ring, our, our magic bar thingy fills up a little bit. That's all it does. Momo, I was thinking Momo too, maybe for the throwing fruit thing. But like, I don't see any, I don't see Momo. But I, I guess Momo's portrait is in the top left, so Momo's probably here with us right now. Looks like it. Bop is an emote. There you go. That's the problem. It's weird that it's a global emote. I don't know what that green one did for us. Uh, health, maybe? Probably health. That would make sense, right? Okay, this, 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 uh, flying section has outlived its welcome. Um, it can stop now if it wants. <laughs> Do we have to, like, charge up our fucking meter all the way or something before it's allowed to stop? It has the icon, though. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, you're right. It does have the icon. It probably is Momo. That's the only thing that really makes sense. Because, like, I don't, I don't think Appa's spitting out this many fruit. You updated your phone from the screenshot you said. Did it fix the volume thing for you too? Oh, I was reading about that. Apparently it has something to do with Android has a uh, a thing like built into it to stop people from going deaf from listening to high volume stuff for too long. So it automatically turns down like 70% or to 70%. Um, but most phone manufacturers have that either turned off or an option to turn it on or off. Um, but for whatever reason, Samsung's just didn't. Like... <laughs> <clears throat> so like yeah you just, you've just been paranoid and hit the volume button every few minutes yeah i mean that's fair man it's really annoying for me too because i uh i listen to music or i watch shows i mean in my in my car on my lunch break lately that's what i've been doing and like i can't fucking like every minute or two the fucking volume would just go down to fucking nothing and it's annoying as shit also how do we actually damage this dude like he hasn't taken any damage yet and Groot's looking a little funky here too, dude. Okay, there we go. I guess we just gotta break his arms before we can do any fucking damage. Guitar, get the fuck out of the way. Nope, shit. We're gonna die. You wanna go deaf from your rock music? I'm not sure if you're just... Oh, you already said that. But I am deaf. I need the volume. Yeah, tell, tell fucking Samsung that, dude. <laughs> Did you say Groot? Yeah, his mask makes me think of Groot. The little icon on the bottom and then the mask that he's got on his face there. It looks a little bit like Groot, man. So Groot looks a little, like, overgrown here. A little angry. Angry Groot. Fuck, dude. This is the slowest fucking boss battle. Just do something. And his health bar isn't actually even going down. So I don't know, like, if hitting him is actually damaging him or not. There we go. Okay, we probably just got to... Yeah, okay, we got to hit his fucking face. 
uh, what's the fucking, there it is. I couldn't remember what the button for the special power was. Really? The special power only did like, a, what, half of one of the, 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 the green bars of his health? And then we have to destroy the fucking arms again? This is gonna take all fucking day, dude. Why? Why are you like this game? <laughs> Oh, wait, 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 okay, different phase, different phase. It's playing slightly differently. I don't know if, like, hitting him does anything until he puts his arms down. But, like, I don't know. Gotta try fucking something, man. I wish we had a way of just, like, shooting at him or something. You like Groot? He's cool. Yeah, Groot is pretty cool, man. I like Groot, too. I am Groot. I can't think of Groot, though, without thinking of Hodor, and that just makes me fucking sad, man. Hodor from uh, Game of Thrones. Fuck me. Why is this so slow? You know what I love in my boss battles, man? Having to do the same thing 20 fucking times. That takes five minutes each time. Like, there's nothing even dangerous happening, man. Just fucking do something so I can attack you, please. Holy fuck, thank you. <sighs> oh, thank God. His arms are gone. <laughs> I've never been so happy for someone to leave the lose their fucking arms before. He has another phase after this one, too. Fuck me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize. How do we use the fucking thing? Okay, that, that'll probably be a lot faster than, than beating on his head. Using the fucking thing on the ground. That does make it a little bit better, but still, like... This boss battle seems entirely unnecessarily long, dude. For no good reason. Are they making more Galaxy of the Guardian movies? I thought they were working on a third one. I thought, but I, I could definitely be wrong. I'm, I've been known to be wrong before. <laughs> I, I haven't uh, watched Family Guy in a while. I didn't know they did a Herbert the Pervert Groot knockoff. <laughs> but now I wanna now I wanna catch up on it. Like we get to see the Star Lord next month. What? Oh, <laughs> uh, the actor also plays in Jurassic Kingdom. You had me very confused. I was like, wait a second, is Guardian of the Galaxy coming out next month? Is there a new TV show that's featuring him? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. He's been too busy rescuing baby dinosaurs. He's got to do something when he gets tired of uh, roaming around the, 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 uh, the what you call it, the galaxy. All right, one more arm. Come on. What the fuck is Jurassic Kingdom? I don't know. Isn't that the name of the movie? Please, please die. Please. I'm, we're attacking you with everything we got. Okay, is this actually doing more damage than me just hitting him? I'm not sure. I don't think it did. I think hitting him may have done more fucking damage than that, dude. Fuck me. Why? Jurassic World Dominion? Maybe, I don't know. You thought it was a mobile game? That also may be true. I honestly have no idea, guys. I really do just say things. <laughs> I don't know what they are any more than you do. The words just come out of my mouth randomly. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the uh, George Carlin things you can't say on TV. Like rat shit, bat shit, dirty old twat, 69 assholes tied in a knot, lizard shit fuck, lizard, 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 lizard shit, no. Fuck, man, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember how it goes. And it, I mean, like, it seemed like every show that he would do would fucking, uh, he would add more, like, figure out more of them to add on. So, like, yeah. Lol, <laughs> that is me, and I love that audio. <laughs> Still need one more shaving cream. You're so close now, love. You got this. Like I said, if it really comes down to it, we can always buy the last one. Um, we can always buy the last one off of eBay or something like that. Ratchet, batshit, dirty old twat, 69 assholes tied in a knot. Hooray, lizard shit fuck? Is that how it goes? 
I can't remember the ending. I remember the rest of it, but... I love George Carlin, man. I haven't watched that many of his specials. I've only watched a couple of them. That part specifically has always been burned into my mind because my uh, one of my older cousins used to go around saying that all the time. I don't know why, but uh, yeah. Why would you spend $20 for a $2 can of shaving cream? <clears throat> um, you look weird. <laughs> Anyways, because it's a collector's thing and you're collecting them. Like, and it's the last one you need. So obviously we'll wait. Like until it's absolutely necessary thing. but you know Avatar. that fucking face oh, though man, i thought you were with those firebenders in their machine are you the swamp's protector i guess you could say that but it's about more than just this how the swamp. fuck do i look like a firebender is all joined it's one organism or the literal waterbender that, that you just spent 20 minutes fighting is connected to sometimes it gives visions of the past the present and the future here, Avatar. Touch it. Feel the whole earth. <laughs> Go ahead, Avatar. Touch it. Touch it, Avatar. Just feel it. <laughs> feel feel my vines, Mr. Avatar, sir. Why are we having visions of Toph but not fucking playing as Toph? Why, Aang? What happened? I'm not sure. <laughs> the fucking subtitles, dude. What happened to the subtitles? Why did it just like fucking fast forward through them all? How to sick, dude. This game is jank as fuck. Swamp monster defeated. Chapter 3. I wonder how many chapters there are in this game. Not that it matters, because we are done, guys. I don't think I can take any more. My throat is starting to hurt. Um, I need to, like, blow my nose continuously. <laughs> so I think I think that's all we got time for tonight. Cool story, but bad fucking game. Yeah, I mean, just watch the anime, guys. Like, If anyone's curious about Avatar shit, just watch the fucking anime. It's, it's, it's good. It's so much better. Uh, yeah for sure the last one you need is 24.99 and again like we'll try to get it from stores first noodle of course but like if a month from now whenever they stop making them if you still haven't found the last one then yeah just buy it off fucking ebay or whatever honestly i wouldn't be surprised if the price goes down anyways after all of the scalpers find out that hey we're not gonna make that much money off these fucking things like there can't be that many people collecting them you know so i'm sure 90 percent of it's just fucking scalpers being assholes Anyways, again, <clears throat> excuse me as I die. Thank you all for coming out and hanging out with me for a little bit. I appreciate you guys. Rue, Noodle, Nate, uh, Chocobo, if you're still around, anybody else that came and just lurked or whatever. I appreciate you all being here. It really does mean the world to me. I'll be back tomorrow at some point. Usually I would do 5 to 9 uh, Eastern Standard Time. But with me being sick, I'm not sure exactly what time I'll be starting and stopping and whatnot. But we're definitely going to be playing some uh odin sphere at least we're currently trying to play through that game and it's a lot of fun and i haven't got to play it in like a week or two so yeah we're definitely going to be doing some of that uh but anyways again thank you guys i will see you next time and of course as always be kind to each other bye bye yeah